What's up guys and welcome back to Hitman 2. We were gonna tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. <gasps> no way. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady. But neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists. Murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Dude, is Agent 47 going to get his memory back? <sighs> Subject 47. Most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away. He and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. That's our lead. Dude, all right, we're teaming up to take down Providence, baby. Let's uh, see what we got going on next. Another life. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka, Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right. So here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. 
So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Clan. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Here we go, boys! So we're gonna get some intel. We're gonna frame somebody to get the Providence guys off our back. This is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be the, the ultimate, uh... The ultimate mission all in one, and it's gonna set us up for, I believe, the, the end of the main game. There are gonna be more missions and stuff that come out in the future, but I think this is the second to last, like, main mission of the, the main campaign, so... We'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can, uh... Can make quick work of it. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. <laughs> Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards. And intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Dude, this is gonna be tough. All right, well, beautiful day in Vermont to kill an old man and find some clues and such. 47, I've marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. All right. So I'm gonna start off over here. Walking around the frog habitat behind the house, have you? No. Oh, okay, great. It's it's just that. Well, I I saw one of those security people from Mr. Janice's house, and I'm pretty sure he was burying something back there. <laughs> I just figured since you guys seem to be, you know, working together, you, you might know about it. Can't say that I. Someone from Janice's security detail buried something in the frog habitat behind Cassidy's house. What could that possibly be? Didn't know I couldn't go back there. I guess I see the keep outside now. Sorry about that, sir. All right, um. I mean, look, we we'll bury a lot of stuff back there. You, you wouldn't believe what I found. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if we uncovered Jimmy Hoffa's remains. Uh huh? We're just gonna sneak back here. Whew. Hey. I'm gonna take him out, hold on. Gonna take his outfit. We've got the public shed key. And let's go ahead and move him over in the grass. I'm trying to figure out where this thing is buried. But it's not easy. I'm looking for like any dirt or anything that's been clearly dug up. Or moved or something, but I'm not really seeing much. I'm trying to use our instinct to locate it. I see frogs, but I don't see anything. Is it back here? No, can't go across that. Hmm. Okay. Fire extinguisher. We've got a garden shed here. Lawsuit Janus documents. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. 
James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. The lawsuit also mentions Nolan Cassidy and his unlawful surveillance around town. Hmm. So Janus takes a helicopter trip once per year. I think we're on to something here, 47. 47, I think it would be beneficial to locate the unlawful surveillance mentioned in the lawsuit. Perhaps Nolan Cassidy's house would be a good place to start. Okay. So we can work on that. This looks like somebody... had buried something there. How do I... Oh, here. Yes. Oh, we just had to get a shovel. It was right there on that, lo that item location, but we just had to get a shovel. What do we have here? A cigar box that's been buried. A cigar box with a few cigars and a note inside. Well, this is very interesting. The note indicates that the box was given to Janus by the Constant as per tradition, he writes. 47. This could mean the Constant and Janus meet up on a regular basis. Excellent find. Alright. Well, that's good news. Where did I take this gardener out? I'm gonna put my suit back on. Okay, and now we want to get in this house. Switch to our pistol. Gonna hop over the fence here. Um, subdue this guy. Not kill him, we're not trying to kill him. And we're gonna see if we can get in this house and find something. Alright. Give me this back out, because I know there's a camera right here. It's down. Okay. Well, that's not what I wanted to walk into. Just doing secret things, bro. No big deal. Did you review all the mail going out from Janus's house yet? No. I got sidetracked by all the activity surrounding that politician who came to visit. Hmm. Well, I've got another letter that needs to be looked at before we allow it through. Cassidy made it clear that we'll have no leaks coming from here. <laughs> I'll put it in the pile when I have time. Got it. So Cassidy withholds Janus's outgoing mail. He might have written something considered confidential in the past. Might be worth a shot. Okay, so now we've got to find Janus's letter. I think this guy has the letter too. Hold on. We gotta get over to him. I think he's got it. I think that's why he's highlighted. What do you look like? I'm pretty sure it was that James Batty guy. You were, you know, the guy with the lawsuit. <sighs> Pain in the ass. What was he doing? I tagged him trying to peek over the fence. He claimed he wanted to see if the frogs were migrating further into our yard. <laughs> I sent him on his way. All right. It's not even the first time this has happened. Ever since that fool Batty discovered those frogs, we've had all kinds of idiots walking around in there. Now keep an eye out and let me know if you see more people. All right, sure will. There's a bunch of letters there on the table. Is that what we need? Is there actually anything we can do with them? No. Hmm. A recording of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. Oh, here's the letter. Dude, it's right here. A letter from Janus oh, God. called Zoe. It looks like a draft and is full of explicit descriptions of how unhappy Janus is with Zoe and his sister having been appointed chairwoman of the Ark Society. That name before. This is a good find, 47. Good work, 47. Well, thank you. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. 
It's time to end this. That is Nolan Cassidy, former Secret Service agent and current Providence Herald. Cassidy is assigned to protect Janus. His security detail is getting farther and farther back from him. Where's he going? Hold on a second. Can hide behind the sheriff's car. Might be able to take a pop shot at him. He's the one on the right, yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. Turn around and leave. Now. This is official business. Shoot, dude. I was just about to take the shot, too. I've got an opportunity over here. What's going on with this? These are the best muffins I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house showing today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. <laughs> Maybe you know him, Mr. <gasps> Nolan Cassidy? Oh, that's uh, perfect. I can't say that I do. Well, he's uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road. You know, the one that police shut down after the, well, incident? I'm not really from around here, senor. I don't know anything about that. Ah, I see. Well, never mind. He can wait a little. Local realtors in town to show the house to Nolan Cassidy, who apparently is aiming to move. The realtors of Sweet Tooth is now stuck eating muffins Look, by the local muffin stand. I just squeeze a couple more of these beauties down. Hello. Welcome to Granny's. And thank you for shopping locally. Okay. We have so, a awesome promotion going on today. So everyone can get a If we can disguise as that realtor, we might be able to show him that house and potentially get him alone. I'm going to go in this guy's backyard. See what's going on back here. Why were they interested in this house? Is there anything telling back here? Is there anything that we can do? The realtor guy is is not moving, unfortunately. He's not leaving his spot. Uh, I think if we poison the muffins, that would work really well for us, but... Unfortunately, I just don't think we, we have poison. Here at the Wilson property. I'm looking for... Oh, they got a putt-putt place out here? This is dope, dude. I'm looking for poison. Y'all got any poison? Sure. Got some wine and stuff. If we were looking for poison, where would we find it? Probably something in the kitchen, right? In the garage. Rat poison. Let's go. And we're back. So we need to pick up one of these bad boys. And we're going to have to poison it. We could place it here. But there's no... Can we straight up poison this one? No. We need to be able to place it somewhere to poison it where they aren't going to see us. Yes! Let's go! That works! Alright. We've been waiting around for forever trying to get him to go do something. Hurry up. What's up, tough guy? You busy? Where did this asshole even come from? What are you talking about? Hey, you there. Stop. What are you talking about? Where's this guy going? You stop. Come over here. No. <clears throat> got the coin, got the disguise. Not how I intended. But it's done nonetheless. I'm gonna go drag his body in the bushes. <laughs> Dude. I was trying to get him to leave, and he never got far enough. He was always going to be able to see us when we put the poison in, but I guess I guess that works right there. All right. So, we are now a real estate agent. Should we go talk to Nolan? I 
I think maybe we should talk to him. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come Aren't through. Aren't you the realtor? Yep. Security. I've been waiting hours for you. Hold on. Give me a sec. Sorry, I had to take a leak. If the realtor doesn't show up, I want you to penetrate the house for sale, Frank. Mr. Cassidy, I'm sorry for the delay. I'm ready to take you to the house. All right. About time. Let's go. Just relax. You know which one. You'll be on your way in a sec. So we got frisked. We're clean. We're clear. Good. You're clean and good. Ah, to go. Mr. Cassidy. Catch any bad guys yet? What? Who are you? Dale Anderson, the mailman? The mailman? Do you have any mail for me? Oh, no. Nothing apart from what I've placed in your mailbox already, Mr. Cassidy. Oh, I see. So this is small talk. I understand now. I don't do small talk, Mr. Mailman. Have a nice day. What oh, a D-bag. Yes. All right. You too, Mr. Cassidy. About time. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Last one on the right. Far end of the road. Okay. I hope you've got your presentation in order. I don't want this to be a waste of time, you understand me? Of course, Mr. Cassidy. All right, next up is Nolan I've been eyeing Cassidy. this place for some time. I trust we can make a quick uh, execution here. Yes, Mr. Cassidy. Looks like we might have another opportunity for a mission back there as well. We'll have to go back for that. So it's this house. We've got Mr. Nolan as well as uh, one bodyguard with us. After you, sirs. Well, what are you waiting for? Unlock the door and start the tour. Go ahead on in. Are you gonna follow me? Oh, I am. I've had my eye on this place for quite some time. Good luck with the city. Let's see what sort of secrets she holds. Thanks, bro. This is the downstairs living room. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. <laughs> Large room with two easy to get to exits. Dark floors hide stains easily. A room with lots of potential. That's all fine. Is there more to this house though? There is. How about we go down to the basement? We got any guns down here or anything? Shoot. And here's the basement. The usual boiler elements are to be found down here. And it seems a room with a safe of some sort. Now that is more like it. That looks just like a vault. Can we get them to go in the vault and then lock them in there? This is more like it. This I can use. Very nice indeed. All right, let me have a look at this thing. Advanced Kronstadt Matrix Laser Home Security System. <laughs> we used to break these open for training at the academy. The thing about these systems is, most homeowners are lazy. So, they don't reset the factory settings and enter their own codes. Let's just try the standard. This guy's so full of himself he didn't hear me killing his buddy in the background. You know. Good night. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention. I'm gonna go ahead and disguise as a Cassidy bodyguard here. We're gonna head up out. 
<laughs> that was awesome, dude. I wasn't sure if that was gonna work. I thought that he might hear us in the background, but I guess he was just so full of himself that he didn't. All right, so we're gonna head back this way. We did see that there was one potential story unveiling uh, over here on this porch. Which porch was it? Was it that one or was it this one? I think it was that one. Shoot, so I guess we missed it for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, pick up our gun. Let's grab it in the corner over here. And then we've gotta go ahead and get Janus. It's gonna be our final objective here. So let's see what we got going on. Back to the barbecue. It's a really nice barbecue. Wish I had more time to hang out, unfortunately. We're on official business. I don't know if we're gonna be allowed back there. So, Janus smokes despite being dependent on an oxygen tank and his bodyguard's insistence on hiding his cigarettes. I wonder what might happen if he combined the two. These cigarettes are actually going to be right here, I think. Somewhere in this area. Is this it? Pack of cigarettes. We got them. Okay. Now we want to infiltrate the Janus property. We hop out without these construction guys seeing us. Okay. We made it to the Janus property. Go! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, dude. I thought we were done there. All right, let's drop him. We're gonna disguise as a Janus bodyguard. Nothing really interesting in there. I'm hoping this is gonna let us just kind of waltz right in and do our thing. Got a guy over there. This is the garage. There he is. Janus. Cold War spy master and the first Providence Constant. Why did the voice change to a male? Remembers how little he cares. I'm gonna see if there's anything interesting. Are we gonna have to do anything to these cigarettes? We're supposed to locate his bedroom which must be upstairs. I'm wondering if we're supposed to like put rat poison in it or something, you know what I mean? That guy was coming this way. Found a screwdriver, that might be helpful. I'm gonna wait for this dude to leave. We're gonna try to go upstairs and get past these boys. Except Janus and his other guy are coming this way now. Oh. Muffin day, Clicker. But I'm not seeing any muffins here. Uh, I think some of the boys may have been a little snack hungry, Mr. Janet. <sighs> okay, he's gotta be upstairs. This is where he came from. Place the cigarettes on the table. Oh, shoot.
There's a wrench in his shed. If we would have checked the shed earlier, we would have found it. Got it. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? We got recorded. Loosen the valve on the oxygen tank. Oh, dude, this is gonna be rough. Good work, 47. All there is left to do now is wait. All right. Well, now I think we can go over here. We can enjoy our party and we'll just watch that window up there for the explosion. <laughs> oh, dude. Somebody give me a drink. We can serve food. No, we don't need to serve food. I, I need a drink, bro. I'm trying to enjoy the rest of this. I don't want to poison the beer. How come it won't let me actually enjoy the party, man? Can I at least sit? No. All right. Well. We're just going to wait and watch. And I think eventually we're going to see a big explosion come out of this room. Here it goes. <laughs> I feel so bad, dude. It's just an old man trying to have a smoke. <laughs> and last, the actions of the first constant catch up. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like James. Still. We are close now, gentlemen. Both targets are dead. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. Oh In the meantime, my goodness. We'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. I didn't know that our boy was on comms. I guess that's who we were talking to earlier in this uh, this mission. But my goodness, dude, that, that was something else. That was a good one. I really, really enjoyed that. Blew up an old man, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Gifts and curses. The Ark Society. One of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite. Billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. That's not a bad idea. You're right. It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but like it happened to someone else. <laughs> your gift and your curse, what they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes, found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. <laughs> Let's get it, boys. It's time to take down Providence, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. And it's happening in the next mission. So I'll see you guys there. Hope you guys are excited. Drop a like if you guys are enjoying. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.